Welcome to the video of Ort. It was a happy day in the home of Yitzchak and Rivka when their two twin boys, Yaakov and Esau, were born. And on that day, the Torah, when they are named, the Torah uses a peculiarity of language. Vayikru'u Shmo Esav, and they, in the plural, named him Esav. But Vayikra Shmo Yaakov, only he in the singular named him Yaakov. Why the difference? Why did they name him Esav, but only he in the singular named him Yaakov? Degel Mach and Ephraim suggests that Yaakov and Esav represent for us two fundamentally different approaches and philosophies of life. Yaakov, to paraphrase, is truth justice in the American way. Titain emes le Yaakov. Esav, by contrast, is the opposite of all of that. Says the Medrash, shav barasi bolami. Falsehood, that's what Esav represents. The falsehood of paganism and idolatry. Whether real idolatry or the metaphorical idolatry. But falsehood nevertheless. And there's an interesting inverse proportion here. When it comes to sheker to falsehood, often the multitudes run after it. But when it comes to standing up for, for, for MS, for truth and justice, that often falls to the lone province of one single individual standing up for what he knows is right. And therefore, by Yikru'u Shmo Esav, they all ran after Esav, they all associated themselves with Esav, and they all called him Esav. But when it comes to Yaakov to MS, by Yikru'u Shmo Yaakov, there's just one single lone individual standing up for truth, justice, for Derech Hashem and the Derech HaTorah. And for us, the message is clear. When it comes to standing up for what's right, for the Derech Hashem, for doing what's right, we don't follow the numbers. All we need to be is an army of one. Good job.